Hello guys, in this video, let's configure Azure AD authentication for our ASP.NET Core web app. So guys, if you remember, in our previous video, we created our ASP.NET Core web app and it is running in Visual Studio. Now, in this video, we will register this app in Azure portal and we will have something called app ID or client ID and it will represent our ASP.NET Core web, web app which is running in Visual Studio and for this app we are going to add Azure AD authentication. Okay, then we will create two dummy users in tenant and again guys we, rest, we, we will register this app in tenant only and also we will add these two users in tenant only. Then of course these two users they will have an access to our ASP.NET Core web app. Now, in order to configure Azure AD authentication, we will need to add tenant ID and client ID that is app ID in app settings.json file in Visual Studio. So that should complete our configuration and then we will run our app and so the, for the first time of course it will ask for authentication and then we will log in in our app using John David. So now let's go to the Azure portal. So guys, we are in Azure portal and now let's click on this Microsoft Entra ID. So now we are in our directory or our tenant and here you can see users1 that is its default user that is herschel.jn.net and then under applications it shows 0. So now let's click on this applications 0. Here all applications and again we don't have anything and now let's click on this new registration. So let's give name. So I'll say my ASP.NET Core app. Let's go down. And here you can see select platform. So of course, now is this application which we are registering or which we are adding. It will represent our ASP.NET Core web app which is running in Visual Studio, right? And for that we not we need to add Azure AD authentication. So under select platform will say web and then of course here we need to provide the redirect URL. So it is the URL where Azure AD it will return the token. Okay. So for that let's again go back to the Visual Studio and let's go to this app settings.json. Okay. So we need to provide this callback path callback path. But before that let's run our program. And guys, if you remember in our last video, as of now, we have added allow anonymous under this index method. So our application should run fine and it should not throw an exception. So let's run. And you can see, yes, our application is running. So we need to provide this URL. So let me copy it. Let's again go back to Azure portal and under that we need to provide this URL then slash and then we need to provide the callback path. So for that, let's go to the Visual Studio. Again, app settings.json and let's copy this. That is sign in hyphen OIDC. So let's copy it and let's again go back to the Azure portal and let's say OI. Right? And now let's say register. And you can see our application has been successfully created. Now let's close it. Now let's click on this authentication. Let's go down and here you can see this select the tokens you would like to be issued by authorization endpoint. So basically it means which type of token Azure Active Directory should return to your application. Right. So here let's select both the checkboxes and here let's say save. So that's it guys as far as Azure is uh, Azure portal is concerned we have configured this application but now we need to add the users as well in tenant right I mean the users who should be able to log in in our application so for that let's again go back to this default directory and under users it shows one so let's click on that and now let's add two users so we'll say create new user and here I will say John dot David. Let's give display name. So I will say John David. 
and guys we need to copy this user principal name and this password somewhere right so when this user john david will log in for the first time using this password ad will ask him to change the password okay so for this as of now let's copy this principal name and password so i'll open notepad so this is the principal name and then this is the password let's copy it and let's paste it over here and here i will say review plus create and now create similarly let's add another user so it's mark dot phillips let's again give display name i will say mark phillips and again let's copy this user principal name and let's copy the password as well and here i will say review plus create and then create so we have created two users now let's simply say refresh and yes we can see these two users that is john david and mark phillips now let's again go back to default directory and here let me say refresh so yes under users we can see three users and under applications we can see one application which we just added okay now let's again go back to the visual studio now let's stop this program execution and let's go to this home controller and here now let's remove this allow anonymous and now let's try to run our program again and hopefully it should now throw an exception let's run and yes we got an exception and it says unable to obtain configuration from this login dot microsoft online 2222 so again guys this is tenant id and of course we don't have any tenant with this id so now let's again go back to the visual studio and let's go to this app settings dot json so here of course we need to provide the tenant id so for that let's go to the azure portal and again we are in this default directory or tenant and let's copy this tenant id let's paste it over here similarly we need to provide the client id as well so let's again go to the azure portal let's click on this applications one all applications and let's open this and under this we can see this app id or client id right so again it represents our asp.net core web app which is running in visual studio and for which we are adding azure ready authentication so let's copy it and again let's paste it as a client id so now let's stop the execution now guys this completes our azure ready authentication configuration okay so now let's run our program and see what happens and you can see it's trying to log in with harshal.jain.net at gmail.com and guys if you see again let's go to this default directory overview and let's click on this users that is we are in tenant and under tenant let's check the users so you you see this harshal.jain.net is already an user okay and because i am logged in with my default login hen it's it's trying to log in with that default login okay so here i will say accept and yes you can see now we have successfully logged with harshal.jain.net but guys this is default login and we did not enter any username password right so now in order to login with two users which we created that is these two users john and mark so let's do one thing 
let's copy this url and let's go in incognito mode and let's enter this and i will say enter and you see yes now not every user is able to access our application rather it asks for authentication so let's try to log in with john david and we have already copied the principal name and password so let's use that so this is the principal name i'll say next now here we need to provide the password provide that and i will say sign in now guys because this user is login for the first time and it is the default password it asks to change the password so let's do that and i'll say here i will say ask later i will say accept and yes you can see now john david that is the new user he has been successfully logged in our application